you're here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. This is the Stubensandstein. Okay. Um, Stubensandstein is also a lot of silica. You can see mostly. <laughs> you can break them really easy. Uh -huh. And you have oh. a really sandy sandstone hmm. here. And um, so it's really minerality mm -hmm. in this wine. And you have the cool climate from the forest around. Mm -hmm. And during the day, it's good. It's facing nearly south. Yeah. And going more and more when the sun goes behind the the forest, it cools down. The cool air comes from the wind uh, from the forest down, and so you can harvest them really late. Mm -hmm. And which vineyard is that? This young is called Junge Schwaben. Uh -huh. It's uh, our Premier Cru Riesling. Okay, but that's also a movement, right, Junge Schwaben? Or Junge Schwaben, group? we are a group, a group yeah. of five wineries, yeah. Württemberg since 2001, I think so. Okay, and uh, so every Every member of the group, five wineries, has one Junge Schwaben wine oh, okay. and his main vineyard, uh, main variety. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's the part with the Riesling, it's my Junge Schwaben. Okay. So it's special. <laughs> and it was uh, before we was member in the VDP. Mm -hmm. So we are a little bit, <laughs> I think uh, we are a little bit different than the other members in the VDP because we just make land wine. We have just Schwäbische land wine. Mm -hmm. Uh, not the GGs, but the other wines are all land wine. Okay. So it's not a, they, we don't write on the label, it's Hedel or Pulvermaker or so, so it's Wissling Junge Schwaben, it's the name of the wine. Mm -hmm. so our, uh, this side is the, the Hedel side, okay. Okay. so it's, uh, we have two different um, sides with, uh, with uh, um, two different expositions. Uh -huh. And this on this side, where you can see the castle, this yeah. is Pulvermacher. The okay. Pulvermacher side, and this side is the header side. And uh, but we we um, separated by the soil. Okay. And so now we are at the, at the moment is uh, at the Gipskäuber soil. Mm -hmm. And so Gipskäuber is a lot of limestone inside. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have limestone, you have um, a little bit higher pH. Mm -hmm. And when you can feel, this is the the perfect showing to fro for the gibbs mm -hmm. there you can see the, the small blades here and when mm -hmm. you you have it be between the the fingers mm -hmm. you can feel that the the chalk on the the mm -hmm. limestone yeah, sure. yeah. So, yeah. so now we i think we we go a little bit upper to the schilfsandstein mm -hmm. kieselsandstein and then to the stubensandstein so okay. it's between 280 meters and it elevates to 400 meters you have to see mm -hmm. From, and you only have altitudes. Riesling and Muscatrolling. Muscatrolling on this side, so we have different Riesling vineyards here. Mm -hmm. So these are all of our wine are called Gipskäuble, Riesling Gipskäuble. And uh, on the other side we have more Rieslings in the Schilfsandstein. And at the top of the Kieselsandstein is our uh, main, main soil, so it's a good uh, high altitude. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, feel a little bit of the slower ripeness. And um, a little bit more crispy, crispy taste in the, in the wine. So. But there you also have a uh, reason, right? Yeah, on yeah. We have uh, our our winery. We have um, eighty percent white wine. Okay. And the most variety is Riesling. Yeah. yeah. And the, this is also like a Grand Cru Lager, or? Uh, or it, it's uh, here is a, a Premier Cru. Premier Cru. Premier Cru. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we have our our Grand Cru is over there, the Pulvermacher. And during the day you have a good sun and in kitchen and um, in the afternoon shadow comes and okay. the sun goes behind the, the, the forest mm -hmm. and then you, you have more uh, cool storm and so you have always more white colors in these wines here hmm. more more freshness more more yeah a little bit it feels lighter crispy uh -huh. yeah and when you go to the other side you have a little bit more yellow colors in the wines and so you have a little bit more warmer colors, mm -hmm. more more warmer bodies in the, in the, in the mouth feeling. But the also limestone, it uh, usually then you have most usually a full bodied wine, right? Or is it yeah, it's it's uh, it's uh, the the mix between the 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 body, but I think it's more the coolness here okay. on this side because we are on higher altitude because it's 280 meters, mm -hmm. and when you saw uh, see the next the next vineyard. Uh, it's 400 meters above the sea, okay. so it's really, really fresh there and, and cool.
cool climate wines. <laughs> okay. Yeah. since 2003 completely um, fermenting with nature yeast. Uh -huh. And when you think about you're working in the vineyard, you're spraying fungicides mm -hmm. and it wants to ferment with the nature yeast from the vineyard. Yeah. It doesn't work because uh, yeast is also a fungus. Yeah. Yeah. And so you you have to to inactivate it commercially. Yeah, yeah, you have to, to keep the um, to make the, the yeast from the vineyard ah. stronger. Mm -hmm. And so you have spraying organic. That was the way we we came in the in the organic working. And when you start working organic um, and you, your mind is open for more. Mm -hmm. It's not far for to, to go to the right. biodynamic. But when you because when you see, it's uh, <clears throat> what's going on in nature. Mm -hmm. So the wines didn't. Uh, this is this is a riesling. Also for from us. And you can see all of the vineyards are always higher in grass and uh, mm -hmm. in yeah. flowers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of herbs too. Yeah, so this is a young vineyard. But this is also south facing, right? No? Yeah, or, it's the same, south, the same uh, facing, but like the, just a few meters lower from the altitude. Schwaben was over there. There was nearly no wind. Yeah, yeah. and here you have always a little bit more wind. Yeah. And and so this is our, uh, for me. Uh, one of the best resting spots here in the town, in, in the valley also. And how is the soil different? Because I see it's this also is black. Yeah, but it's Kiesel Sandstein. Um, I think we have to look here because this is... No, this is, yeah. this is more Kiesel Sandstein over there. Oh, this one? That one, yeah. Kiesel, Kiesel Sandstein. And it's a very strong sandstone. Mm -hmm. A bit different, you have Dolomite inside. Mm -hmm. And you can see over there where we have a little bit collected <laughs> <laughs> the the rhythmic, uh, the Kiesel sandstein. So this is this is um, when you dig a hole in the with a digger. Mm -hmm. You have bit, uh, after one meter, one meter fifty, you on the on the rocks. <laughs> you come on like this. So it's very very special here. And then you can see also you have a little bit more flat vineyards here. And then. Directly here, you have the steep vineyards. So you are directly on the corner from the from the Kiesel Sandstein step. Mm -hmm. So you have the different steps. You have the step Gipskäuper, then the step Schilfsandstein. Mm -hmm. Goes up from the Untrebunde Merge to Kiesel Sandstein, goes up to the Stubensandstein. So you have the different steps, mm -hmm. and you have always flat vineyards and steep vineyards. Mm -hmm. So it's Always and, like and do you see that maybe from the exposure that uh, these vines get more sun because they are steep? Um, maybe a little bit more sun, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I think this is uh, this part, the top, is a little bit better for the for the white varieties. So uh -huh. it's a little bit more windy also mm -hmm. here, and uh, the steeper vineyards are maybe a little bit better for the. For the white. <laughs> so this is uh, our special place. We have our brevets here and all the stuff here in the vineyard. Uh, special. 